So you're thinking about living in Newport Beach, California. Uh, uh, just a, ge- like a jewel of the earth. It is. It's one of the best cities in the entire world. It's kind of like when Ferris Bueller says, It is so choice. If you have the means, I highly recommend picking one up. If you have the means, I highly recommend. <laughs> this is, that's, a good, that's a great <laughs> quote for Newport. <laughs> but anyways, if you're thinking about living in Newport, you're probably wondering, you know, it's a big city. There's lots of different neighborhoods that are different. They have different, you know, offerings. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to get out the map. And we're we're going to dive deep. We're like going deep into the map diving tour. We are. We're going to dive deep and we're going to talk about things that you're going to love about Newport, talk about things you're going to like about Newport, but most important things you're going to hate about Newport. So you snip it out, right? That's the that's the neighborhood that you don't like. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? I'm Sean Dazad, and I'm Courtney Dazad, and we're with Keller Williams Realty right here in Orange County, California. And if this is your first time to the channel, don't forget to press on subscribe because we talk all about what it's like to live in Orange County. We just talk a lot. We do. We do talk a lot. But it's about Orange County. It's about Orange County. And we also, we talk about bad things as well as good things. So we try to make it real because, you know, Orange County isn't for everybody. So you may not want to come here. Um, (laughs) But anyways, don't forget to press subscribe and don't forget to press the bell so that you're notified every time that we upload a new video because we upload new videos every week. Yeah, and if you're watching this and you're probably thinking, wow, Sean, I love Orange County. I just love the weather. I just want to move out there now, like, but I don't know what to do because I'm totally out of the area. And I totally get that. That's why you want to reach out to us. And that way we can be your eyes and ears on the ground. So what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back. Okay, so here we are. We're in Orange County. Well, I was kind of, again, given this is a Living in Orange County channel, mm-hmm. we are... You know, in Orange County. In Orange County. And notice all that blue, all that ocean. It's right there. And, yes. And again, on a weekend as hot as this is, because it's very warm. Yes. We really appreciate this Pacific Ocean, at least keeping us cool than it would be otherwise. It's still hot. Yeah. But again, we get, again, you do get these kind of heat waves that happen every couple of times. I like a few times a year. True. And since we're talking about the ocean, let's go to Newport, okay. which is the city that we are doing a map video of right now. All right. So let's go deep <laughs> into Newport Beach right here. There we go. That so is, that is kind where of Sean uh, grew up. My old stomping grounds. And so, where our babies were born. Oh, yeah. They're one at Hogue Hospital, right? There. Yeah. Right there. And that is Hogue Hospital. Both of them, with an ocean view. Yes. So, okay, Newport Beach here. So let's kind of talk about this. So basically, so you can see this outline here. I guess let me see if I can make this any, like illustrate this any better. But basically, Newport runs right about, yay. Okay, so Newport Beach here, what you'll see, what you'll notice right off the bat is that you have this amazing harbor and back bay area. Like this is an... It's a harbor and an estuary. What do we call the back bay? Well, yes, it's called the Back Bay, but it's a harbor and, yeah, it's it's the estuary of the Santa, Santa Ana River. Perfect. Yes. I love it. And so you have all this coastline <laughs> right here, right? I mean, tons of coastline. Yes. So you, Newport's one of those, like, rare places where you have fantastic beaches, but also an amazing harbor. And what's amazing about this harbor is that it's not just any harbor. This is one of the largest non-commercial harbors in the country. So you don't have container ships and all these other crazy things. This is, like, yachts. You know, anyway, like yachts, sailboats, dinghies, dinghies, duffies, kayaks, kayaks, like uh, like uh, paddle boarding. So you got party boats, party boats, like little cruises within the harbor, which Mm -hmm. I highly recommend. We did a video on that. That was actually a lot of fun to do because you really appreciate just this harbor is large. It's a good size harbor, and you have just a ton going on here. And what I love, uh, I guess we can kind of let's go dive into Balboa Peninsula because. This is a, since we're talking about the harbor, this is a fascinating part of the harbor because... So you want to show, like, just circle what the peninsula is? Let's do it. So the peninsula is around here. Like, so basically Balboa Peninsula is like, uh, you know, what's amazing about this is that you have amazing beaches Mm -hmm. on this side. You do. And then what's also equally amazing is that, like, I don't know, about 200 yards, give or take, you cross, and then... You have this incredible harbor. Mm-hmm. So you have harbor front homes, mm-hmm. and then again a short little walk, 
and you have amazing beaches. Yeah, so, I, I almost feel like the harbor is more pretty than the beaches, me personally. I don't know. I mean, well, <laughs> uh, I that's guess... That's just it's my own personal taste. I guess that's. I, I guess we could say that only... You can say that because all of Southern California has some pretty amazing beaches. And that's true. So I guess because we both fr- are from Southern California, mm-hmm. you're like, oh, beach, whatever. And you're like, yeah. oh, boy, the rest of the world's like, wow, you're those like, are amazing I'm, beaches. We're like, but, another beach. Yeah, yeah <laughs> seriously. So so what you have here is that, the, but the harbor is unique. Like there, mm-hmm. there's not too many harbors quite like this because again, it's really, again, a, for non-commercial harbor, it's it's large, mm-hmm. you know, like really good size. But then, and again, just to, like you have like nice, home, beautiful mm-hmm. homes, like, you know, you you have the yachts and all. Again, it's really cool. Like, yeah. I mean, it's it's again one of those amazing features of Newport Beach. Mm-hmm. And then also when we actually go into Belvoir Peninsula, you have these two piers also. So you have Newport Pier. Mm-hmm. Oops. And Balboa Pier. And so yes. they're separated about I've two miles. I've actually swum pier to pier. So you went from here all the way there. And that's yeah. about two miles. Yeah. And the whole time I thought I was going to get eaten by a shark. Yeah. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, every yes. once in a while it actually does <laughs> yeah. about every 20, 30 years. <laughs> yeah. So and as far as features, so, so you have like the fun zone, you have some things kind of going on in this area. Mm-hmm. Now I will say this area is kind of known for a lot of people that go, like go to college. It's very like, touristy too. Very touristy. So you have a lot, a lot of vacation rental stuff going mm-hmm. on here. Also what you have going on here is that a lot of college kids, like, so like the high season is where like basically from... It's just in the summer, right? So mm-hmm. you have like a lot of what these are are nine month rentals, where mm-hmm. and that kind of perfectly coincides with these kids' um, school in year. school, yeah. So basically, they rent at almost a subsidized rate, like mm-hmm. during those nine months, yeah. and then and then the the landlords make their money up in like hand over fist in the summer, where they yeah. charge like weekly rentals, basically. Yeah. So uh, so basically, and and because of all that, this can be a bit congested. It can. It, yeah. it can get a little rowdy. Too. <sighs> I mean, it can. I, I, I think that ever, ever since Dennis Rodman kind of moved there and moved out, <laughs> like it's less so just because he, he kind of basically had the money to pay the fines and yeah. then all of a sudden like they just cracked down way more on just partying activity. So again, not to say parties don't happen here, they certainly do, but it's just not like as rowdy as you mm-hmm. put it as yeah. before. But it is touristy. I mean, there's a lot of people that come in and, you know, they're just there. So they're, they're it's not, you know, just a, a community of people that really care about the community. It's, it's tourists. And there's a lots of bars here. Yeah, there's lots, there's of, lots bars. of nightlife going mm-hmm. on here. So again, New, Orange County is known for not having, it's being pretty sleepy and not much nightlife. Yeah. You will not find that on, on on Newport Peninsula, you find a lot of nightlife going on here. Yeah. And again, yeah. So I mean, not to say it's all college kids and vacation. Like, actually, no, some it's beautiful homes not. here. Otherwise, yeah. like that people yeah. deliver. But you just gotta be aware of it. And as you go farther yeah. down the peninsula, uh, you know, so you have some like nice size homes right along the harbor mm-hmm. here too. And also, this is called the wedge. This is the, the mouth of the harbor on the again Balboa Peninsula side. And this is interesting. They have this uh, jetty formation where. It amplifies like the waves and mm-hmm. stuff, so you can actually get like twenty foot waves. Yeah, like a really cool body surfing spot, mm-hmm. actually. So, um, and I was like, you gotta know, you gotta be a pretty experienced swimmer to swim here because, oh yeah, uh, you feel like when when it does crash, it's like a short break kind of thing, and you do feel like you're like in a washing machine. You're like being spun around. So just be aware that this is probably not the, like this specific spot is not the best. Like a lot of the other beaches are fine as long as the swells aren't aren't too crazy, but here. It gets a little bit uh, dicey. Yeah. And then you probably should say that it, while there are some absolutely gorgeous homes. I should homes, say you're just going to say for me. <laughs> while there are some absolutely gorgeous homes at the end of the peninsula, I mean, it does take a while to drive down there. Yes. So it can be, so if you have to get on and off of the peninsula every day, it can be something of a commute. Yeah. When, like, so basically you're going, oh, I'm so close. I'm going to go right there. No, you're going that yeah. way. And then not only just that way, let's go pan, pan back a little bit. So you're going that way. And then, like, so if you're going to UC Irvine, which we were going. Which as the crow flies from there, it, you, like, do you oh, think it's like, oh, like, oh 10 minutes. Oh, no, no, no. You're going that way. Yeah. Then that way. Then that way. So yes. uh, it would take a good. 45 minutes at <laughs> least. Yeah. At it, least. It, it, and because along the Bal- 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 Balboa Boulevard, which, like, you know, is the main artery of the peninsula, it's a lot of crosswalks people mm-hmm. crossing so it's not this thoroughfare in a way like you're not yeah. zooming through here you're driving relatively slowly and also again there's a lot of interruptions in it there's people crossing you know like the crosswalk or whatever there's a mm-hmm. lot of people walking like there's a lot of walkability here yeah 
Well, then do you want to talk about the islands within yeah, sure. the harbor? Why not? Let's do it. So basically, there are several islands, and um, as we get so basically, uh, if you want, want to know like where the rich people are. <laughs> <laughs> Harbor Island here, that's like your billionaire island. Like yeah. these are very, very, very expensive homes. Not that any of these homes are cheap, but yeah. again, for Newport, they're on the expensive yeah. side, certainly. And you get like a harbor frontage. It's mm -hmm. it's absolutely beautiful in mm -hmm. Harbor Island. Again, there's only not, not that many homes here. Lido Island actually has a decent amount of homes. Yeah. Again, not cheap, mm -hmm. but you have, again, and also yeah. I'll, I'll tell you, the, this area here, specifically the islands, if you're looking for land, look the other way because you are not getting much of a lot yeah. here. Because you're, you're basically, you're going vertical, two, three, maybe sometimes four stories, but mostly like two to three stories. And your development, your, your home is like pretty much taking up the entire lot. Yeah, So sure. you're, you have like, you know, to see lot sizes of 24, 2500 square feet is not unusual. It's actually pretty much the norm. Yeah, well, so your backyard is is the ocean and the harbor, right? Yeah, so I guess if you have to have a backyard, that's what you have. And then yeah. Balboa Island Well, then Island you should say, another... too, that Lido Island, it's, that Lido Island is not very touristy at all. There's, like, it's mostly residential. Whereas, like, Balboa Island, which is super cute, I love it, but it's much more touristy. That's fair. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, Lido Island, you're, if you're going here, you're, prim you're more or less either visiting someone or, or like, you're, you're living here, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Balboa yeah. Island... Basically, Jamboree Road, which is a huge road, like the, it goes on for miles and miles and miles. It goes all the way, like it, it goes for a long time. So it's a very major road. You want to make a line because where it is to show people what okay, Jamboree let's, is. Like, let me just see how far back I have to go. Like Jamboree Road almost like feeds all the way. <laughs> like so, mm -hmm. it goes a long ways basically. Yeah. Um. So Jamboree Road itself uh, goes like right, pretty much like ends up like on to this bridge that takes you into Balboa. Mm-hmm, Bubble Island. Yeah, yeah, Bubble Island, sorry, yeah, Bubble Island. Mm -hmm. And then, so you have actually a strip of, like, shopping, mm -hmm. dining, you know, really cute, like, to gift shops and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff here. And, and then, there's also a boardwalk around Balboa Island yes. that's very cute that people like to walk around. Yes, or run around, because mm -hmm. we used to run around there, too. And then, also, you can take the ferry um, right across here to Balboa Island. Mm -hmm. No, to Balboa Peninsula. <laughs> Sorry, no. from Balboa <laughs> Island to Balboa Peninsula. But you, you can go from Balboa Peninsula all the way to Balboa Island. Yeah, it goes both ways. Yeah, it goes both ways. So, and it's like a three-car mm -hmm. ferry. It's and pretty you can, cool. You can get on foot too, or with a bike. Yes, exactly. And it's like a couple bucks. It's, it's yeah, not, yeah. It's not much to. But to the do. lines can back up. Depending on the time of year, for mm -hmm. sure. So that's so there's that part of it. But yeah, this is a fun place. Again, homes just like Leo Island on the small as far as. They can actually be pretty decent sized homes. Yeah. It's just that the lot sizes again are yeah, small. For sure. And then and then basically I would say uh okay, so, so Newport Heights, that's where Sean grew up. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. Newport Harbor High School is right here. That's where I went to high school. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course I'm like Go Sailors. Go Sailors, yep. When he graduated in nineteen sixty five. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that that is true. So basically and also in Newport Heights you do have Hogue Hospital. Which we kind of lived to, that's where our kids were born. So, mm -hmm. one, like, pretty much the premier hospital, I'd say, in all of Orange County. Yeah, it's ranked number one by, you know, lots of different lists. Yeah, so great, you know, great hospital, highly ranked, and all of other stuff. Mm -hmm. And also, its location doesn't hurt either. And they have a great, you know, women's facility. Uh, a lot of people choose Hogue for their babies being born there. Plus, it's just such a cool city to have on your birth certificate. And also, while, <laughs> while she's complaining about contracting stuff, <laughs> I can kind of just, you know, put on my headphones and look yeah. out true. into the harbor and, and, just, and just kind of, you know, just be somewhere else. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Until she smacks me <laughs> upside down. But, like, so basically, and then, again, just to kind of put here, so to get to Newport Heights or to Newport Beach, one of the main arteries is the 55 Freeway, mm -hmm. which basically um, gets you close and then it and it becomes Newport Boulevard, and then which is technically in Costa Mesa, but and then you kind of take yeah. Newport Boulevard down, and basically that gets you to the peninsula, gets to Newport Heights, and all that other stuff. Mm -hmm. And then um, in Newport Heights, one of the even though it's not technically in um, Newport Beach, 17th Street is, or at least most of it. Like there's a little bit, a little sliver that's part of Newport Beach, but um, 17th Street is your kind of one of your main shopping. Like corridors. corridors in Newport Heights. Yeah, so you area. want to put a line so people can see it. Yeah. So this is where this is where you have lots of shopping, dining, banks. Yeah. Like Let's just, just point out that grocery it, stores. Sidecar donuts. Solid. So good. Yes. The crack shack. So good. 
Um, those are just a couple that we... <laughs> and also Los Primos is a fun little, again, hole-in-the-wall oh, restaurant, oh, Mexican restaurant. Los, that's bringing back some memories. Yeah. <laughs> and still so, there. Yeah. And so, um, so basically, tons of stuff going on <clears> here. <throat> Not most of it's not technically in Newport Beach, but <clears throat> like you're so close. And then uh, should we talk about also? The, there's a lot of sh you know just like CVS, a lot of grocery stores, yes. a lot of um, I think M Mother's Market is right over there too, right? Mother's Markets. Are, well, actually, that's technically because that's on 19th. Yeah, Street. yeah. Anyway, yeah. Sprouts. Oh, Sprouts. Yeah. Sprout, well, that, which used to be Mother's Market. Now, oh, okay. Then, yeah. So that, though these are like yeah. more like your organic grocers, yeah. nat natural food grocers, but you certainly have your normal. Ralph's and you know mm -hmm. uh, pavilions and that kind of thing. Yeah, so, yeah. and there used to be a blockbuster over there that we <laughs> we, we would go to all the time. And that's really dating us right now. <laughs> I know. So basically, back in my day. So basically, um, so but Newport Heights also another main corridor is Pacific Coast Highway, which basically where you do have again some dining, some shopping, like some car like say like you know your Lamborghini of Newport Beach or yeah. Ferrari Newport Beach mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So. It's a pretty fun place to drive by, and mm -hmm. so you again you and have then, to oh, stop some bon, things. Bon bakery. Bon, that's a solid bakery. That is. Yeah, that is. It's so good. Yes. So again, and now the houses here, most of it's not new. New again, this is a lot of Newport Beach. To be honest with you, yeah. it's not new. Like it's all stuff that's built. 60s, 70s, 80s, like mm -hmm. kind of thing. Unless then, somebody buys a lot and then demolishes it. And then, but, and then having said that, like some of the houses that are actually like along the beaches here and stuff like that, they actually can be like older than that because, you know, mm -hmm. you have, what you have going on here is a lot of like beach shacks because these yeah. are before Newport Beach like blew up Although and came a thing. a lot of beach shacks have been bought out. Exactly. They're no, getting no, less and they less. They were beach shacks. And yeah. then, so you, what you, you will see though are like these small little beach shacks mm -hmm. next to a huge house yeah again like not on a huge lot but you know a huge house now newport heights you will get more land here like yeah, you know it's, it's a more normal like i kind of figure like a suburbia kind of home. yeah for sure so what's nice so if you're looking for like a normal like more just i don't know like six thousand ten thousand square foot home, like mm -hmm. you know lots you know like something where you have a backyard and stuff like that yeah you can find that a lot here basically yeah i would say newport heights it has a similar flavor of like east side costa mesa like a yeah a more uh, yeah like a more ritzy east side costa yeah mesa. for sure yeah yeah no that, that's fair and then also you also have uh like back here let's go and you have like the dover shores area which this is kind of along the back bay mm -hmm. which is uh you know so yeah, basically so you, get view, you get views of the back bay depending on where you are depending on where you are yeah, yeah exactly yeah. and again these are homes similar to newport heights where they're kind of on like you know normal like kind of normal size homes what do you want to call that but also on like like average size lots and mm -hmm. that kind of thing yeah so you like kind you can of get a backyard them. yeah mm -hmm. now if you're so you so again dover shores kind of has a lot of in Newport Heights, Stone Over Shorts, they have a lot of complementary kind of mm -hmm. similarities, I would say. Yeah. And then, uh, and then some of some of these homes are on the are like are net right next to the back bay, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. And then yeah. also well, where you have then, a lot of trails and uh, yeah. Stuff, I and guess. then and then one thing when you are living by the back bay, if you have small pets, they will likely get eaten if you let them outside because it's like true wilderness out there. There's I've seen like bobcats, lots of coyotes. Yeah, so don't make that mistake. Yes, tigers. <laughs> tigers. <laughs> No, I mean, it's fine. Like, I've, we've gone, it's totally fine if you're, like, with your dog, you know, but if you just let the dog out, or especially the cat, within two weeks, it'll be gone. How about your hamster? <laughs> or, uh, yeah. Sadly, sadly, I, I do actually have a couple of friends that made that mistake. Yeah, so just be aware. I mean, because it, it is, like, okay, so Back Bay is awesome. Like, it's fantastic running, you know, like you can like, you know, you can run along the bike paths or mm -hmm. like on the dirt paths. Yeah. And so it's like about, I don't know, if I'm just kind of throwing out a number, 10, 10 or so miles around, around the bay. Yeah, so sure. it's a great place to walk, ride, you know, like ride run Dubai. or whatever, like that kind of thing. Yeah, it's very popular recreation area. Not know? really much of a mountain bike thing. No, because like it, it's paved. Yeah, but it's just, it's pretty flat. Mm -hmm. It's just like, it's just, and, and also again, for kind of an undeveloped area, it's unique in Orange County because... Like, and everything else is developed around it, so it's pretty yeah. cool that way. Yeah, well, because you can't develop it because it would completely destroy the environment, Fair so. <laughs> yeah, and then Santa Ana Heights is interesting here. So, uh, Santa Ana Heights is one of those, actually, if you're looking for land, Santa Ana Heights is kind of where we're going to find a lot of that you stuff. You want to circle it. Yeah, so Santa Ana Heights is, like, right, okay, so Santa Ana Heights is, like, uh, around, yay, yeah, it's around like that. And then... Because oh. it's really like here. Yeah, so there's some really cool and, homes up there, like kind of like horse. Yeah, like it's like, like equestrian horse ranches. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. So you people actually literally have acres. Yeah. I mean, not tons of acres, but in the acre mm -hmm. range, right? Yeah. So which is, again, so 
what you have here is like like you can have you can have almost estate type homes, mm -hmm. very large lots. You can have horses and that mm -hmm. kind of thing. I mean, obviously, now, a very limited number of homes. Yes, and also uh, we, it is right next to the you know like the takeoff landing area for John Wayne Airport. Yes. So basically, be aware that you will get some airport like you know some noise from that perspective. For so, sure. So if you want land, this is it. But if you can't stand any kind of like airplane noise, yeah, probably not the best spot for you. No. But it's again really again it's pretty awesome unique spot in Newport Beach for sure. It is. And then let's see, yes, as so we're kind of rolling around, so I guess we're, we'll take the 73 freeway mm -hmm. across the bay. Should so we go, you know, should we go to like East Bluff area? So this okay. is this is like you know like you know Corona Mar High School is here. <laughs> yeah, that's this is the, our that's rival the high rival school. to Newport Harbor. Yeah. Boo! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so basically, uh, so basically, New, uh, so Corona Mar High School very highly ranked according to Niche.com. Actually, God forbid, I hate to say, it's actually slightly higher ranked than Newport Newport Harbor High School. It is. Pains me, but yeah, yeah that's what it is. But they cheated. They put. They bought their way to that rank. Yeah, true. I say. Like USC, right? Yes, exactly. That's <laughs> that's how I'm. That's how I'm rolling. With it. So basically, Corona Mar High School. You know, obviously, very good high school. Mm -hmm. Not a very. It's not. It's like you know. It's not like a very a large high school. Yeah. Like, you know. So you went to. A highly, you know, like 5,000 students going on. Like this corner of Ireland, I think, breaks 1,000. So it's a oh, really? much smaller school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I grew up in San Diego. Yes. <laughs> San Diego <laughs> County. San Diego County, yes. <laughs> like yes. all San Diegans um, claim San Diego. And that's true. Yes. And mm -hmm. so... Cornell Mar is actually like it's pretty awesome. Like I mean, people do love like Cornell Mar a lot. You can. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, so there's Corona Del Mar. Yeah. Uh, I love Corona Del Mar. It is one of my favorite neighborhoods in all of Orange County because it's very. I mean, Orange County. If there's any you know knock that it gets, it's that there's a lot of tract homes and everything is like a different shade of beige. Corona Del Mar definitely is not like that. It's very eclectic. It's very charming. You just have some beautiful, lovely homes, and then obviously you know. Many of these homes have just stunning views of yeah. the ocean. Yeah, and, 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 and the topography here is a, like it's a little bit more on the hilly side. So you have like Spyglass Hill and stuff like that where you have some nice views. Mm -hmm. And again, the homes are like, again, like on the average size kind of homes. Again, a lot of this stuff, again, a lot for a lot of Newport, as a general rule of thumb, think of New, Newport as a lot of it developed, developed between like the 50s and the 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and then uh, and with the exception of Newport Coast, which is that that's more newer construction. We'll go there next. Yes, we will go there. Well, maybe not next, next, but very close. <laughs> but like Corona Mar, so what you, you have interesting, you have some some harbor front homes, mm -hmm. you have some beach front homes, yes. or like, you know, so like like I love the beach front homes there. Such a stunning view. So yeah. nice. Yeah, so yeah, like Big Corona and Little Corona. These yeah. are like really cool beaches. Mm -hmm. Like, well, particularly B Big Corona. I mean, Big Corona yeah. is pretty cool. Like, I actually in enjoy that beach a lot. Mm -hmm. It's actually really nice. And yeah. um, basically, over here, uh, yeah, I mean, people really just. Corona del Mar is so beautiful. And then, do you want to talk about the the shopping that's along Pacific Coast Highway? Yeah, let's do it. You can talk about it because Sean's the shopper. In our yeah, family. well, so <laughs> so again, you have banks, restaurants, bars, mm -hmm. shops, like. You know, it's just a, a oh, fun Sherman place. Gardens, Sherman Library and Gardens. That's where Sh one of Sean's best friends got married. Yeah, so really. I mean, if you're looking for a venue, that's, that's yeah. a fantastic. And actually, venue. my chiropractor, her daughter, just got married there. Yes. It's so it's a very beautiful venue. Yes, and then and again, guys. So Corona Mar is really cool. And again, you have a little bit of a difference. Like you have some homes where you have like in the smaller lots. I would say like west ish of the of Pacific Coast Highway. And then on the, like, east of it, you kind of start to have, again, larger lots, basically. Mm -hmm. Again, not yeah. huge lots necessarily, mm -hmm. but, like, larger lots. Yeah. And then, um, and then basically, let's see here, as far as... So you want to talk about Fashion Island next? Well, actually, we can also talk about Rogers Gardens. Oh, we, Rogers we Gardens. Have, like, you know, we have time at Sherman. Like, uh, yeah. Rogers, so Rogers Gardens is really cool, too. Yeah, Rogers Gardens. I mean, it's just a... Well, it has a really cute little restaurant that's actually really good at Rogers Gardens. And then it's the more... The farmhouse, right? Yeah, it's, it's, it's more just like, um, you know... It's it's like, a, yeah, it's the farmhouse. And then there's more. You know, they, really good. Like, and I, like, honestly, like, even for Thanksgiving. Yeah. It's, it's actually, like, if you're not looking to cook, but you want really good food. Yeah. They're, they're very solid. Excellent. And then it's more, in, uh, Rogers Gardens, it's more known for, obviously, you know, plants. And then they have, like, a, a Christmas store. It's all sorts of Christmas decorations. And her sister, who's, like, a, like a, like a buyer. Yeah. Well, my she, sister, 
I, I will brag right now. She's one of the most expert buyers in seasonal items in the United States. And she loves Rogers Gardens whenever she comes out to Orange County. That she didn't want to see us. Yeah, she's like, well, can we go to Rogers Gardens? Like, yeah, she's nice like, to meet you. Where's Gardens Gardens She's like, now? I don't care about your kids. I haven't seen them in like three months. I don't care. I want to go to Rogers Gardens. <laughs> And so that's what we do. <laughs> yes, we often go to Rogers Gardens when she comes out to Orange County. Or she comes out to Orange County and doesn't have time to see me she, because she's... We don't even know. She's she, not. Yeah, she's compare shopping at Rogers Gardens and then she leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Rogers Gardens for you. Yeah. Pretty solid place. And then also right yeah. next to it, yeah, Fashion Island. So yes. this is one of the larger employment hubs in so in Orange County. For really, that, okay. So yeah. Fashion Island here. So basically, this is a large outdoor mall. Mm -hmm. Really, you know, really cool mall. You have again your your, your like, great shopping, like like Bloomingdale's and all that stuff, and Macy's. And then you also have like great dining. Mm -hmm. Actually, um, like some really good dining. Actually, yeah, True Foods. I like True Foods. True Foods a lot. is really good. And again, yeah. that's just one of many. Yeah, there's lots of different restaurants. But if you're if you're more looking for more like organic -y type stuff, mm -hmm. True Foods is really really good. Mm -hmm. Like it's solid, and it's not like ridiculously expensive either. Yeah. And then basically, so Fast Line's a really good mall. And like, and then on top of that, around it is like Newport Center, basically. Yeah. And Which so this is a, is a lot of, of corporate headquarters. Yeah. So if you need to sue somebody, <laughs> probably your attorney is like located here. <laughs> well, and there's a lot of medical. Um, I was about to go there, yeah. you know, and again, a little nip tuck right or, there. Like me, I get lots of uh, peels. Le leisures off my back. Cut oh, off. that. Yeah. yeah. Well, and I have gotten a peel there as well. On my face, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so if you're looking for some cosmetic <laughs> surgery in particular, <laughs> you know, like Newport Beach got you covered from yeah, that perspective. Yeah, that's true. And then, okay, so, yeah. and then as we go, okay, and I guess, you know, we can't talk about Newport Beach because what people think of Newport Beach, I'd say at this point. Do they it, think of Newport Coast or Newport Beach? I feel like I think Newport Coast is like that, separate. <sighs> they think a lot of people think Newport Coast is a separate city. Well, because it's a relatively recent, it was yeah. annexed by Newport Beach. Yeah. So the Irvine Company developed all this stuff. But. Yeah. And, and oh man, if you want to talk about some phenomenal views and in homes. Oh, and homes. The Newport Coast, man, that I mean it it typically trades like for the 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 most expensive home ever sold in Orange County. It usually goes back and forth between Newport Coast and and Laguna Beach. Yes. Like 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 yeah, like, yeah, like this huge home right on the crashing waves in yeah. Laguna Beach, you might win. What was Newport the highest Coast, in Newport Coast? The 61 or 63 yeah, million. 60, I feel like it was 63. Yeah. So basically, so you, so here, but again, it's not all that expensive. Like obviously, you can find homes for yeah. like much che much cheaper. You can actually find homes for like quote reasonable price for Newport Beach in Newport in Newport Coast. But again, it's, this is probably one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive, one of the most expensive neighborhoods in all of Orange County. It's not. It's one of the most expensive in the neighborhood in, in the world. In the world. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, what you have here are homes that are newer built, so 1990s in general, and up mm -hmm. and, and gated that's another reason why people love yeah it. it is very gated so yeah. you, it, it kind of almost it, in a way it's a little disjointed because you can't really there's not neighborhoods you're just kind of rolling through yeah it's like you are in your gate yeah and that's pretty much and now you do of course have some shopping and stuff but that's kind of a thing like there's a lot of different communities and the all these different subdivisions basically have are gated mm -hmm. themselves yeah and then so what you have here is that you have semi-custom like built homes, you know, like so there, there are so there's some variation for sure. A lot of these homes have beautiful views, and then these communities have amenities, of course, and that kind of thing. Even though those homes, many of those homes will have like their own pool and all that yeah. stuff. And then, um, and then, and then some of the homes are like custom built where they're just massive, like mm -hmm. 20,000, 30,000 square feet, like mass, like so huge homes. So you're kind of getting a bunch of different, uh, you know, again. Depending on what you're looking for, like Newport Coast could be amazing. Now it, it is a not, it's not as convenient to get to. Now you will, yeah. I will say that. I mean, actually, Newport Coast like drive here is actually pretty good at getting you into a lot of Newport Coast. It's just that, like you know, Newport Coast, you're flanked. You know, so you have like Pacific Coast Highway on one end, and then it borders Cornell Mar, right? And then you have the 73 Freeway on the other end, and the 73 Freeway is a is a toll road now. If you're living in Newport Coast, yeah. you probably don't care about tolls. Like, you're yeah. like that's literally, I mean, it's I can, beyond, like, yeah. it's not even pocket change. I like, wouldn't yeah. call it that for, for <laughs> someone. It's like, you know, going, you know, uh, yeah, I'll just get a $10 million home in Newport Coast. Yeah. But basically, but just be aware that there is, like, you're going to be probably taking the 73 freeway to get home. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So And then should we talk, it's, Newport Coast is right by Sage Hill, 
High School, which is the number one ranked private school yes. in, oh, there it is. Can click on it. It's the number one ranked private school in Orange County, according to niche.com. Uh, very popular uh, among, you know. Billionaires. Billionaires. Celebrities. <laughs> Celebrities, yes. Yeah, actually, I guess if you think of, like, what people thought of Beverly Hills 90210, mm -hmm. like, again, this is now dating us again. Yeah. But, but like, if you thought about that, like, maybe Sage Hills, like, yeah. actually, like, the real-life incarnation of that. Uh, maybe, maybe, yes. Yeah, and, like, and, where's and, Brenda's and, what I'm wondering. Uh, yeah, it's like, da -na -na -na, <laughs> da -na -na -na. Oh, great. Now we're going to get dinged <laughs> on YouTube, because that's such yeah. a perfect rendition of it. <laughs> yes, but, yeah. So, Sage Hill, very popular private school. For sure. So that's it. That's our video. Yeah, and remember, we are licensed realtors in the state of California. So as much as we love to make these videos, like what we love more to do is to help you with your real estate needs. So whether you're looking to buy or sell a house, what you want to do is you want to give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. Or you can reach out to us via WhatsApp. However you want to get a hold of us, we've got your back.